So here's a problem that asks us to prepare a budgeted income statement. It says Bell Simpson manufactures a specialty precision scale. For January, the company expects to sell 800 scales at an average price of $2,350 per unit. The average manufacturing cost of each unit sold is $1,400. Variable operating expenses for the company will be $1.10 per unit sold. Fixed operating expenses are expected to be $7,700 per month. Monthly interest expense is $3,700 and the company has a tax rate of 40%. Prepare uh, Bell Simpson's budgeted income statement. Okay, let's do that. So sales, we're going to have to do a little calculating here. We need to first figure out number of units. And it says they expect to sell 800 units, what we see right here, at an average price of $2,350 a piece. So 800 times 2350 is $1,880,000. Cost of goods sold, again, on 800 units, they say the average manufacturing cost is $1,400. 800 times 1400 is $1,120,000. Gross profit, then, we take our sales minus our cost of goods sold. That gives us $760,000 in gross profit with which to pay all of our other expenses. Operating expenses um, are $1.10 per unit sold. So 800 times 110 plus um, we have some fixed expenses here of $7,700. So if we do the math there, we get 8580. Um, take the 760 minus the operating expenses. Operating income then is 751,420. Minus interest expense. Well, interest expense here is given. Monthly interest expense, 3700. And then provision for income tax. So it has a, has a tax rate of 40% of income before taxes. Um, now we need to subtract the uh, interest expense here in order to calculate the provision of income taxes. So 751,420 minus the 3,700 in interest and then we want to multiply that times 40 percent and if we do that we get 299,088 that is our income tax provision and so our net income will be operating income minus our interest expense minus our income tax provision so when we get down to it it looks like 448,000 632.